first pitch yet. Still trying to figure out how to get that on air thing. It shows up for you guys too. I watched the replay. Well, I watched the replay back in the day of last night. Why is that in the corner? You guys certainly don't want to see it. And to be quite frank, I don't want to see it either. But there's no way for me to access that to get it off the screen. Options? Let's see. Sorry, guys.
Still can't figure out how to get that off the screen. First pitch of the at bat. And yeah. afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Still no balls and two strikes. Hit toward the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez. He's gone three for 11. He's taken him deep once. First offering on its way. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Betts has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Here's Manny Machado now, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. From the belt, kicks and deals. Well, on a good swing there by Machado, but he pulls this one foul down the line and out of play. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Here's Chris Davis now. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. the first pitch to him and a fastball just a bit high and now a bluff here is he'll just make sure nothing's cooking over there at third now the 1 0 is taken for ball two boy it sure doesn't seem like they want to pitch to this guy right here I get that but it's just the first inning sometimes you have to compete and set the tone two balls and a strike to the Orioles first baseman And it's two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2. Fouled away. Rickard, the runner at third. Machado at second with one away. Turned on down the line. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The two two one more time is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Here's Jonathan Scope now. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez. He's told him four hits in 19 tries. He also has one home run. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. 
That's wide 2-0. Uh. Scope, whose nickname Mamba, is no doubt aware of the recent rumors that involve his name. Reports say that he may be on the move and that the Dodgers are leading contenders for his services in the trade market. Yeah, I think the team that acquires him knows that this is probably a rental situation. They'll have the opportunity to sign him in free agency, but they're looking for a boost for this ball club, and he certainly can provide that. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Still even at 2-2. Two and two. Runners at second and third with two gone. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Dustin Pedroia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. First pitch on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. My surround sound keeps turning off. I don't know how to fix it. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And triple it is. It's down for extra bases. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. Coming to the plate now, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pulled toward right center field. Catch made out there in right center as the runner will tag from second. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Here's Hanley Ramirez. He went deep in the contest last night. Here's the first pitch to him. A high fastball is in there. Ramirez, playing here in his age 34 season, is in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. Yeah, and that's the name of the game with this guy. You don't hang around 13 years. I always say this. You show me a good teammate, I'll show you a guy who opens the door every day. And a base hit as the run will come in to score, and that gives the Red Sox a 1-0 lead. The relay, but he'll get in there with an RBI double. In now, Mookie Betts. And the Red Sox with an opportunity for more damage here in the first. Fast play to try to speed up the game. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing Last pitch. Took, and he lays off there. 1-0. I mean, it's not too long for me, but I know you guys want to This one's down to third. Beckham comes up with it. And Nobody a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. That was stupid. Here's J.D. Martinez. Runner in scoring position with Sudan. J.D. Martinez. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and it's a foul ball. Good. Oh, and two now. This is way outside, and he can't even get a glove on it. And the recovery's not going to be in time at third, and that should be ruled a wild pitch. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. Susak corrals it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. 
Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez comes in with six hits and 25 tries. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Pitch on the way. Popped him up. Ramirez has room in foul territory. One away. Here's Mark Trumbo now. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Trumbo. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that one just missed outside. Just misses inside. The 2 0. 3 and 0 now. No surprise here that they're working around this big boy. Certainly not going to let this guy tie the game up with something fat out over the heart of the plate. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3 and 1. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. And this is fouled at the plate. Now the three and two pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. And in the left field for a one out hit. At the plate, Tim Beckham. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. First offering on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Working for the punch out and the offering. Leiter gets him swinging, two gone. Into the box now, Andrew Susak. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. First pitch coming, here it is. A swing and a miss at a ball down. I can't speak from experience, but that's got to feel good right there. Throwing a nasty change up first pitch and getting a swing and a miss on it. Now he pretty much opened up any pitch in his arsenal. Set to deliver on nothing in two, here it comes. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Did not know how to fix this screen. That's the next thing I need to figure out. I'll do that after this game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Zero. Started that swing a bit too early. Great off speed pitch right there. He was definitely sitting fastball, wanted to turn and burn. Everything went flying. This pitcher might be on the attack with that pitch all game long. Rickard moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. Now to the plate, Blake Swihart. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. 
And a strike to even the count. One and one. The one one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Sent on the ground out to second. Taken in by Scope on to first, and there are two down. Standing in, Eduardo Nunez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So he picks on the first pitch here and is able to extend the inning. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Here's a look over to first, and the runner back safely. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Sliders in for a strike. Runner goes for second. Ani pops it up. Drifting just beyond the infield. In there. With yeah. hit. And a relay home is oh. in time. And he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Come on, man. Leading off the inning, Joey Rickers. And they'll need him to get something going here. Right fielder, Joey Rickers. First offering on its way. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Hit high and deep. Carrying towards the corner. And he's going to have room to put this one away. And that's the first out. So striding forward now. Trey Mancini. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hard ground ball to third. Throw gets him. Two down. Now at the plate, Manny Machado, one for one, as he reached base with a double his first time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Seared down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And he 
plays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Here now the 2-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Backhanded. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit oh. and the side is retired. Back to the top of the order now. And that will bring up the former MVP second, second baseman, baseman Dustin Pedroia. Dustin Pedroia. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Mancini has it in his tracks. Now. Here's Jackie Bradley now. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. First pitch on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Now the one and one pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball one and two now. Again he sends it out of play. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there. But if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down. And he swings here and sends one in the air deep down the right field line. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Ready on one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. 2-2 uh, two, two, one more time. Popped him up. Uh, Susak has a play. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Striding in for Boston, Hanley Ramirez. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. The pitch. And that's in there for a strike. Hold strike two with the letters. 0 and 2 now. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Horrible at that. I apologize to Hanley. Leading off the inning, Chris Davis, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Number 19, Chris Davis. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. The 1-0 is looked at for ball number two. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off of. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Hard hit ball to second, and that is through into right field for a single. Stepping in, Jonathan Scope. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up.
first pitch of the at bat. And this is taken outside for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. A 1 1 is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's one on to first, and they turn the double play. Ready now, Adam Jones, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a knee high fastball. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a two out single. Here's Mark Trumbo now. One for one after a single this first time up. First pitch on its way. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his time. Thrilled to the left side. Great effort on the dive, but it's through in the left. Stepping up to the plate, Tim Beckham. And he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Set. Here it comes. Oh, Sends boy. that one out of play for strike one. Jones on second. Trumbull on at first with two down. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. That gets down and the inning will continue. And he's in safely at third as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. Riding in once again, Andrew Susak. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. Grounded to short. Bogart's on the slide. He gathers the throw. Oh, got him with a tag. No danger there, but he's able to get the swipe tag on the runner going by. A good Man. save, and that'll end the I inning. Here's Mookie Betts. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. That should have been a lot Here's the first pitch to him. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. Mancini ranging back. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And he's going to get the second now with nobody out. Now batting, J.D. Martinez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Little dribbler down the line. But it gets fouled. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hey, two tough pitches right there, and expect more of the same. With that guy standing out on second base, you don't want any RBI scoring right here. With that base open at first, 
He's going to grind out and try and get this guy to swing at something outside the zone. The a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. Here's the first pitch to him. And a neck-high fastball that time. Outside by like three feet. Here my Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Come on, Blue. Hit hard on the ground for a <laughs> He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Striding in, Blake Swihart. And their runners at the corners now. I'll take a double play. I prefer a fly ball. First pitch of the at bat on its way. A ball and no strikes. This is flared right back over the mound. One there. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. Digging in for his second at bat, Eduardo Nunez. A base hit in his first trip. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Grounder down the line at third. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Standing in, Xander Bogarts. One for one after a single this first time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitch inside the throw. Is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Now the 1 0. Soft liner towards center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And it's back to the top of the lineup now for Dustin Pedroia. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Hey, that's a huge pitch for him right there. He's been struggling early. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little bit. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off. One and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the... Oh, I wasn't good at bat. Back to the top of the Oriole lineup now and stepping in, Joey Rickard. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. First pitch of the at bat. Chopped weakly to the left. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. And here's the big right handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Over two with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah. A dangerous changeup left dangerous. high, but called for a strike. Hey. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. I got to say, his command of the corners. In yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there, bro, but.
looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Here's Manny Machado now. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. There's a strike. Dear Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there, and that tells us all we need to know. Nobody's picking the baseball up off this guy. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Very weakly on the ground. The next 0-2. Here's a little chopper up the middle to his left, Bogarts. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Seven hits. That's a lot. But man, I'm pissed out of some. Huh. Look, Digging in once again, Jackie Bradley Jr. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that pitch catches the inside corner. A high fastball is in there. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and miss. And he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out. One away. Here's Hanley Ramirez. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. He was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Right Ready for another Ooh, shot here. now. Mookie Betts. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Popped him up. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that means J.D. Martinez gets the hit with two outs as well. Here's J.D. Martinez. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First pitch on its way. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. And he'll dive back in. Runners on the move for second. Strike taken. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Now a look and a throw back to second. And the runner back easily. Now a spin and another throw back to second. Keeping particularly close tabs on him. O2 home. Runner goes for third. Pitch is high. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider. 
So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Chris Davis, one for two in the ball game thus far. Chris Davis. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball one. Now the 1 0. It is taken. Check one. The 1 1. Misses for the second ball. Now the 2 1. Strike two swinging. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. Swing and a liner. And this is going to be extra bases here, leading off the sixth. Davis will round first and make his way to second now. And the Orioles are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Here's Jonathan Scope now. He was a double play victim last time around. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And that one just missed outside. On the ground to third. And that's out number one. Striding into the box, Adam Jones. He singled his last time. From the stretch. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Davis leads off second with one gun in the inning. Gets him on the mound. Safe at first. A good effort to recover there, and he almost made the play, but that's a base hit. Digging in. Trumbo. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go.
Matt Barnes takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Matt Barnes. Probably not using it most of the time. First offering on its way. Hard hit ball to second. Pedroia fields it cleanly to second for one on the first. And how about that for an entrance? One pitch. Two outs, and the Four inning is over. Outs. That's what I'm talking about. Efficiency. Donnie Hart enters to do the pitching now in the bottom of the sixth. Baltimore. Number 57, Donnie Hart. Now at the plate, Andrew Benintendi. He's one for Leading two in this one. Left, left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0-2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. Now that's popped up, and this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Toward the mound. Stroke oh. toward second. He's got it. Throw. Oh, he got him. On, and that's man. a gorgeous play. How about At the plate, Captain Blake Swihart. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, oh, a strike. The ball. On one. That background. The 0 1 on its way. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. So stepping in, Eduardo Nunez. He hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Did y'all see the ball coming out of this new team? Maybe there's something wrong with From the stretch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Here's the 0 1. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0 and 2. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Hey. 
ball and a strike. One and two to the Boston shortstop. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. There he goes. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Ready for another chance? Tim Beckham, career numbers against Matt Barnes. He's hitless in three at-bats. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Hard hit ball to second. But Roya dies. What a stop. He's out. Into the box now, Andrew Susak. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Fans, make sure to join us here at the ballpark this Friday night as we've got the solution for these cold early season games. The first 10,000 fans through the gates will receive a complimentary team fleece blanket. That's courtesy of MLB The Show. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And Pedroia will stretch, but it's into center field for a base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Joey Rickard. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's set and the pitch. And a curveball that time that broke too low. One oh is looked at for the first strike. Runner at first here, one man out.
He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. And he just misses with a curveball. He's got him on the ropes at 2-2, two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. He's swung on and missed strike three. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. He's one for four.
pursue that friendship. Because, you know, the thing, is, the thing is with a friendship, you have to pursue it. The first day me and Seth met each other, we weren't really honestly best friends. And quite frankly, <laughs> when me and Seth first met, Seth couldn't stand me. So, uh, so now, now to see how close we are, there was a, there was a relationship formed there. Um, Seth couldn't stand me because my boy was clumsy and little kids and he had to teach me the error of my ways. <laughs> but, um, but no, but over time we just, you know, the friendship grew together. But it, it takes, I've talked to him. He's talked to me. We've talked, we've snapped each other all night long while I'm in bed. We have. And because, and then that's how we become friends. And that's the same thing with God. The same, the same, the same thing that, that's in the natural applies in the spiritual because if, if you want a relationship with God, you have to talk to God. You have to, um, you have to commune with God. You gotta, you gotta spend hours talking to Him. You gotta build a relationship with Him. And it's not just enough to say, no, let me down to sleep and pray, Lord, my soul to you. We get so robotic in the prayers that we pray. Even though sometimes we don't even mean to start getting repetitious, but we get repetitious. We start praying the same prayers. We start doing the same things. We start saying the same, doing the routine, doing the right routine. But God is still here for that day. So tonight, pursue your relationship with the Lord a little bit. I challenge you, take 30 minutes, take, take 40 minutes, whatever you can tonight. Just take a moment and pursue your relationship with God. Read the Bible. Read what he says. Read the promises of God. Pray. Tell him about the good things. Tell him about the bad things. I'm telling you, whenever you start talking to God, God starts talking back to you. Because, Roscoe, you're right. you got to listen to it. It's got to go both ways. Because if all I ever did is run my mouth and Seth would never talk, then he, he would, you know, whenever he's got something to say, that, that would mess up our friendship and my closeness. If all Seth did was run his mouth and I never got a word in, I never got to talk about what's going on with me, then I wouldn't feel like I have someone I can talk to. It's friendship, and that's what God wants. Good night, y'all. Have a great night. Me and my best friend over here is on our way to the gym. We're going to get swole up. And before anyone quotes that scripture about exercise profits little, that's true. It does. Exercise profits very little. And what will profit more than the exercise we're getting ready to go do is the time when we take 30 minutes and we talk to God. That's how great God is. So anyway, guys, good night. Love y'all. Be blessed. Um, just a reminder, we'll see y'all in church Wednesday night, Thursday night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, Sunday morning. We're going to have Brother Mark Thompson with us. Um, he's coming to preach. He's coming to minister. It's going to be a four-night revival on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday morning. Be there. Come out. Meet with us. It's going to be great. We, need, we just have expectation of what God's going to do. If you need a ride, um, on the church Facebook page, there's a phone number. We do have the bands running. We'll go get you. Um, if you can't be here, tune in on Facebook Live. We'll be up here. But I'm telling you, it's nothing like being there in person. The Facebook Live is great in its place, but you got to be there first. You got to be in what God's getting ready to do. Good night, y'all. Love y'all. Bye. First offering on its way. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one.
Here's the 0 1 pitch. Just missed with a breaking ball. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 3-10 sign on the monster. Here's Manny Machado now. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. First pitch of the at-bat. Looks at a curveball on the outside corner. Well, the O's have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now would be a great time for that. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? That one is out of here. This game is tied. So striding in, Chris Davis. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Stephen Wright will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Stephen Wright. First pitch coming. Here it is. 0-1 the count. Three runs already home here. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. This one is smashed down the right field line. That's going to stay fair and it's going to be back to back home runs. Here's Jonathan Scope now. His career numbers against Stephen Wright. He hits at a 364 clip. Two of those hits were for home runs. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Just off the outside. Four runs here in this half inning. Oh, could it be three in a row? Ranging back is Bradley. Out of here. And how about that? Back to back to back home runs. Here's the center fielder now, Adam.
Carson Smith will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Carson Smith. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hot shot on the ground is short. Loved by Bogarts. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. Brad Brock is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Brad Brock. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate, Leading Dustin the Pedroia. Sox. He'll match up with a new pitcher to begin their half Dustin of the seventh. Pedroia. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Lifted in the air to right field. Ricker moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. Here's Jackie Bradley now. And his head-to-head -head matchup numbers with Brad Brock. He's really struggled 0 for 10. Here's the first pitch to him. A little bouncer. Foul ball, however, strike one. Now here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. Susak might try to make a play on it. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Kind of pitching him backwards in this A.B. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Another two two offering. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Here's Hanley Ramirez. He went down on strikes last time up.
becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. Taken in by Machado. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Here's Mark Trumbo now. He's two for three and looking for more here. Designated hitter, Mark Trumbo. Here comes the first pitch. Tough slider down low for a strike. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. How about it? Third base. Digging in, Tim Beckham. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That's a ball. And that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Just caught the inside corner with a sinker. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Sliders in for a strike. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first is Beckham on his way to second. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he'll get in there safely. Digging in and looking for more, Andrew Susak. He's working here to bring home that very important insurance run standing at third. First pitch of the at bat. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also, a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. If you could work a couple walks, it could be the start of a big inning. One and one, here it comes. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Hold a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That'll bring in Joey Rickard. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First offering on its way. Missed with a slider. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. The 1-1 one, one home is taken for strike two. Beckham on third with two out. The 1-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. I can't believe the bounces have given up on him. I, just, I can't believe that. Michael Givens is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 60.
leading off the inning, Mookie Betts. And they'll need him to get something going here. Right fielder, Mookie Betts. First pitch coming, here it is. Uh, less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. You never want to take the aggression away from a ball player, but in this situation, I'd like to see the leadoff guy try and work the count a little bit more, especially when this pitcher's missing like he is. Here it comes, 0 and 2. There's a fastball that just misses, ball one. Hit to third. On to first, and a sigh of relief in that visitor's dugout as that's a big man to retire to start out the home eight. Now the Red Sox DH, J.D. Martinez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Just a bit jumpy that time, swung on and missed. He came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know we swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here, but if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low, we got action. Behind 0-2 now. Ready on 0-2. And, and there's one well above the zone for a ball. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. The three, two, one more time. Locks him up for strike three. Now at the plate, Andrew Benintendi. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a little tapper. Oh, and two, the counts of Benintendi. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. And that ends the inning. I mean, I haven't recovered from blowing a four to one lead. Oh, man. In now for the O's, Trey Mancini. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Set. Here it comes. Ninth Jeez. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Line toward right center. And there's a base hit. And this could wind up as an important insurance strike here as the leadoff man's aboard to start the ninth. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Manny Machado. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. Strike one to start the at bat. Mancini on at first, nobody out.
And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first down. Here's Chris Davis now, and he's got a shot at history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Not an easy thing to do because that knuckleball doesn't have a lot of velo. He was able to pull it, but keep it just enough fair for the long home run. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. down the line but this will wind up foul still 0-2 hoping to send him packing pitch on its way lifted the other way down the left field line and this will wind up a foul ball when you have two strikes on you as a hitter if you get something that you can handle you have to find a way to do some damage with it that was a missed opportunity And he missed with it. It's one and two. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there. But even better job at the plate to take that one. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. So digging in now, Jonathan Stoke. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to. and one here it comes swinging a ball hit on the ground two out with the man at first Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Zach Britton comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 53, Zach Britton. Like to y'all, I guess I'll see it when the when I watch this back. I need to figure out a way to cut down this time. Jesus, almost at two hours. Blake Swihart will be the first one to greet him, as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Hey, not an easy thing to do, even at home, when you're down by two, trying to score a couple of runs off of one of the game's top closers. From the stretch, here's the pitch. No balls in one strike.
And there's ball one. Two and one, the count to Blake Swihart. for a called strike and it's back to even at two and two two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter so Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count do you still pitch for the strikeout here I think one of the keys Matt you want to try to initiate contact the one thing you don't want to do you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes whatever you want to throw throw it over for a strike lazy fly ball out to center field Machado over to his left one out. Now at the plate, Eduardo Nunez trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there, getting away with that hanger. I cannot believe he didn't pull the trigger on that pitch. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here he comes again, 1-2. A weak chopper up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Now another 1-2. Another one sent foul. He'll try again, 1-2. This one's down to third. Throw on to first, and now the Red Sox are down to their final out. Here's Xander Bogarns now. In previous meetings with Britain over the years, just a one for nine. From the stretch. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Britain's ready. Here he comes 0 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Britain is known in part as a reliever with a, a clutch factor, perhaps. An escape artist is another way to put it. Regardless, he seems to be at his best when pressed up into difficult situations, which is kind of what you want out of a bullpen arm. Throw on to first, and the Orioles have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a yeah, major Machado. contributor. For that, he's the top's